Welcome oh, to the band. you were in a band. Yeah, <laughs> music just flows through my veins. Hello, friends. We have a guest. Hello. The glorious Maya from Shameless Maya. That's the big exact channel, right? You just Shameless it. Maya, yeah. Boom. Tell Shameless us Maya. what you do on your channel. Uh, we'll, uh, here's a little link, by the way. Yeah, just click on my face. <laughs> click, click there. <laughs> um, my channel is a lifestyle channel, and it covers everything from social experiments to beauty to vlogging to whatever you, know, you feel. Guys. Yeah, yeah, traveling, all that fun stuff. Well, if you haven't checked it out, it's awesome. All of her videos are fantastic. Very we inspiring. met her the other day yeah. and we decided to do a collaboration. So now we're here teaching her how to cook. Yes. And today we are going to do four toaster oven recipes that are all four ingredients. So the four, yeah. four, 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 four. For the first recipe, have you ever heard of shakshuka? No. Okay. I've never shot so, shakshuka. Have you never, never shot shakshuka? Shakshuka is a Middle Eastern <laughs> breakfast. And oh, okay. It deals with cooking eggs, almost poaching eggs in tomato sauce. And then I figured we add one other like ingredient to make it a little better. I have these canned artichoke hearts, um, but you can add anything. I thought chickpeas would be a good idea. Oh, that's different good. vegetables. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take that okay. and you're gonna dump a little bit into each of these. A little bit? E a little more, okay. So and then half. the same, yeah. Then we're gonna take some of this artichoke and get it out of the liquid. And you, you can chop, right? Okay, yeah. You got some yeah. chopping game. I can chop. Okay, we'll do that. So I think uh, maybe three artichokes per little bowl. bowl. So Little just bowl. Uh, okay. cut those up and just rough chop because oh. you want some chunkiness. There you go, like a pro. Okay, so then we're, what we're gonna do is take them and add those to, you can add that. Mm, okay. And then this is what makes shakshuka the shakshuka. We're gonna take an egg and we're gonna crack it right into the tomato sauce. We're poaching this egg in this tomato sauce. And then there's one other thing, so we'll throw these in You need here. salt though? We're gonna put it in the toaster you need oven. Salt? Oh, yeah, let's add a little salt. This guy's been We're salt. not counting right. salt as, as an the ingredient. Salt, pepper, oh, it's one thing we had to mention in your video. Salt, pepper, and oil, we just, they don't count. They don't count. <laughs> They're just like, you know, there. They're just They're always there. there. Our oven is on about 350, 375. We're just gonna use that as the standard Sounds about right temperature today. for the entire video. Throw that in there. So I figured... We had these on my channel. I figured for, <laughs> yes, if we use this with Maya, we had the flatbreads, we made flatbread pizza. Yes, sir. Is there anything else to do <laughs> So we'll take this and we'll slice this up in half and we'll just throw that right in, in the oven with it. So five minutes for the pita and maybe 15 minutes to poach the egg in the tomato Poachable, sauce. Sorry. Maybe 20. Well, we'll while that's going on, I'm gonna show you something that will blow your mind, hopefully blow mine too, because I've never done this before. I haven't tested it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. My initial idea was to use chicken breast, but you're not a chicken person. I know canned chicken is weird. I was gonna try to show you. Canned chicken is it. very weird. I didn't even know that existed. It's just like a lot better. I love the canned chicken. It's the freshest <laughs> chicken you could ever buy. But you can, you can eat tuna, that's cool. Yeah, I can eat okay. tuna. I'm gonna try it with tuna. I eat tuna occasionally. Open these guys. And I was trying to think of something that would be good in the toaster oven that kind of mimics something you would get like in the frozen aisle. Okay. You know, but doing it fresh. You know, time to sell one. Yeah. Okay. I love, actually, I grew up on canned tuna. That's good to know. Do you want double If you experience? didn't, it's going to be a scary like, thing. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Do you want the double experience? I want the double experience, my friend. Smell, smell. What we do. This is... So this is gonna be like, have you heard of a taquito? 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 It's kind of like, it's in Mexican food. It's, it's almost like a fried taco, but what they do is they're like these long, Oh yeah. they kind of roll it up. Is, so, it, is that what it's called? There's probably multiple there's name. names for it. There's Anyways. like flautas, you could maybe call it, taquitos. Taquitos. It's not a burrito. So this is being... So what I was thinking of doing Bro. sort of, uh, the reason I was gonna use chicken is gonna do like a buffalo chicken blue cheese kind of thing, <laughs> right? But I think it will work with the tuna. I'm actually more excited to try it with the tuna because really? I have no idea what's gonna happen. It's so what is this? Caesar? This is some blue cheese dressing. Blue cheese dressing. Okay. So instead of doing blue cheese and having like usually you have the mayo, there's already mayo and all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> you want to hot sauce me? Hot sauce me? Any hot yes. sauce will do, but that's like a already kind of pre buffalo. How much? Oh, this is like the buffalo. Yeah, it's yeah. buffalo. Oh. Oh, I see where this is going now. Okay. Okay. You can go more. It's coming around, people. It's coming I was around. like, what is all of this? Maya is officially on board. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> I was all concerned. <laughs> I was all forward and have jumped onto the board. Exactly. What is happening right now? Pepper doesn't count. <laughs> so that's already one, two, three. That's three ingredients. Three ingredients. Okay, so theoretically, I have no goddamn idea. Hold on, have you done this before? No, never. <laughs> I, what I've been doing recently this guy is doesn't recipe test anymore. He's <laughs> off the deep end. I find What's that? testing in your head is the more exciting way. Because then there's still like I can I can cook a whole recipe in my mind and then just hope it turns out. If it doesn't do that Josh philosophy. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't mean that works for everyone, people, okay? It's this guy's I mean, philosophy. You know what that, that is though. That's how you that's how you cook. You just have to do it. Yeah, you gotta that do it. That definitely out. works if you're willing to really f something up. And not film it. Great. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> 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 A rapper. Mike, do you want to get another tortilla? Oh, my another no. torch? Yeah, I want to roll one. So then you're going to put this in the toaster oven. This is for my homies, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're toaster roll oven. I might just put like a little oil here to kind of help right. it stick and give it crispy. It's like um, egg rolls. Yeah, and then I'm just going to rub yeah, the, the oil, oil around. Oil around. Crispy. I mean, there's definitely already oil in the tortilla, but this will, well, this will help with the browning. And hold it? Um, not really hold it, but no, I think no, if I'll you be... if you just put it on the bottom side, like right. Josh put that oil. Yeah. You so want to try one? Yes. It's all you. There you go. How are we looking in there? Pita's done. Pita's done? Pita's done? Oh, done. oh the pita's done. Pita is done. I'm going to take that out. So remember, the pita was about five <laughs> minutes. Just to get it crispy. You're a very fast learner. Um, my mom's really keen on do lumpia. Oh, oh, like oh, those are delicious. Are they deep fried? Um, yeah. yeah. There's no other way around it. I guess people do baked in Lumpia, but I'm like, that's right. Yeah, I'd be like this. cheating. <laughs> how are you going in? back on, people. He tried to take it out with the tongs, and it just wasn't happening. This one's there. Good, people. That's good. I'm going back in with the tongs. Are you doing the tongs again? I'm doing the tongs again. Just when I thought you didn't get any dumber. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. <laughs> Shakshukish. So they're both done. It took about... What would, what would you say, Maya? If you had to guess on the amount of time. 20? Oh, look at this. 15, 20. Oh my gosh, she's doing it! She's doing it! <sighs> and then you kind of just dig in. Why you pepper on there? They don't... No, it's good. And it's glorious because you get this runny egg. Mixed in with the tomato sauce and then also the artichokes. You can um, you dig in with that. Take whatever you want. Take this is in. egg, tomato sauce, and artichoke. And artichoke. Fantastic. Yeah. And this is a traditional mm. Middle Eastern breakfast, but I thought, you mm. know, it's just a nice, simple thing you can do. Good. Wow, the artichoke's really nice. This is good. Ah! God, they are bursting out the seams. They're bursting with excitement. Jesus. Like We've done the, the yes. most unholy thing you can do while cooking in the toaster oven, and that is dripping things on the bottom. Oh, that will ultimately so smoke that's how it the works. shit out of your house. Uh, son of a bitch. So what we do <laughs> is we make a mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> that's how it works. Wow, these so maybe you don't awesome. pack them, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, you probably use a little bit less. I'm not gonna lie, when when you guys were packing them, I was a little concerned. <laughs> you didn't say anything. I was a little you let us go down the path. Well, here, okay, I'm just gonna go back to what Josh said earlier. You can visualize things, but that doesn't mean they're gonna work. So yeah. visualization. Judging probably could have used maybe a testing. I think what I like to do is I like to know that we're trying it out together here, and then you get to decide. Okay, he <laughs> up. <laughs> good point. Good point. Croissant kind of, that's crazy. It's like mm. flaky. I didn't mm. expect that, but mm. the layers? That is better than I mm. had imagined. Mm. Mm. That's Whoa. good. This is really good. You guys are giving me so many ideas. Mm, so so I hate when I'm at home and I'm like, I don't know what to cook. You just turn on our channel yeah. and you'll find something. <laughs> so I had this idea, you've had a, have you ever had a bread bowl before with soup in it? You know that thing where you take like 
a piece oh, yeah, of big yeah, yeah. bread. Yeah, you cut it yeah. out in soup. So I want to see if I can do it with a potato. <laughs> so the reason these potatoes look weird is I baked them for a while first. Just you wanted, you got really started. wanted them to be just wrinkly, not so wrinkly, nice. not instead nice. of the bread. Exactly. Yeah, I was like, well, what is this about? Old man Why nuts. Look like that? Yeah, it had to be. It had to be that way. It's more delicious. So it's like a mini, it's like a bread bowl, but it's tiny. It's like this little mini personalized bread bowl. You know how much thought went into this? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of thought when I. I came to me, I was like, no one's ever tried to turn a potato into a bread bowl. There's a couple things you want to be careful of. You don't want to go too deep or you're screwed. This guy, you just said it's never been done, so how do you know that well, you're commenting like Because I can cook in my brain, I told you. a potato <laughs> bowl before. So, that, but the thing is, you don't want the leakage on the bottom. That's going to be... So find the biggest potato you can find. Yeah, biggest potato. And if you didn't roast it, you could still do it, but... Let me work on this one. Work on this you're one. doing a poor job, Holly. I don't want to hollow it out. I want to just get. I want to summon the meat in there. You know. You want some meat. I also had a sweet potato too. I was like, we could do a sweet potato. Oh, a sweet potato would be dope. Yeah. You want to try a sweet potato? Oh, did you one... bake it? Yeah. Oh, you did. Look I at that. This like... is bigger. Yeah, that one's bigger. Mine's gonna be the best. Then I've got this cream of broccoli soup. So the idea here is you're taking your soup, and normally with a soup like this, you would add water or milk. But I want it to be thick, because it's not necessarily like, there's not enough to put a whole soup in there. It's more gonna be like a creamy, delicious feeling to go inside. Everyone can put a little broccoli. That, that's looking pretty good, Mike. See, I have room for ingredients. No, you, I you have You can room. fit. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. There we go. That's yeah. a bread bowl right there. It's a potato bread bowl. Bread ski. Oh. Okay, so a little bit of broccoli. Ingredient breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lots of dessert. I've got a little cheesecake, a mini cheesecake. Oh, is that it is? All in this thing and in the toaster oven. Hey, Maya, you're gonna help me out. <laughs> Back, crack an egg in here and yeah. mix it up. Okay. Whisk it? Yeah. Is that what I'm doing? We'll whisk that first. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the other ingredients. We're gonna start off with a nice glob of Nutella. Glob. <laughs> Nutella is great because you don't have to add any sugar because there's plenty of sugar in this stuff. I can't keep so it. So maybe around. like two. You can't keep it around. It's too dangerous. I'll just go in with spoons. Yeah. What mm. is it with Nutella bottles? That's just so dangerous. Okay. I would say like two tablespoons, but just eyeball two scoops. Two scoops. Please. Okay, Josh, on the pita Nutella. Now whisk that up as well. Okay. Mm. I'm whisking. And the ratios, I've never gotten it the same. It's basically a different experience. So what every you're saying time. is it works every time. It works every time. You're gonna get something delicious, but it's gonna be different. Like right now, that's already looking like more Nutella than I used before. But and then because done. this thing is gonna be a little cheesecake, we're gonna add Cream cheese. That is the final ingredient. Again, kind of the same amount as the um, as the Nutella. Two That's scoops. Good. Perfectly smooth. Well, how Maya continues to be yeah. put to work. Whisk, 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 whisk. One of the coolest parts about Oreo cookies or whatever you want Everything. to call these cookies and cream. If you use these, you can create a crust without adding anything else. By just combining and crushing up the cream with the cookie, it's gonna be enough to give you a nice crust. So I'm just gonna cut these up. All right. Oh, I would say like four. I'm gonna take a small dish. I got this little ramekin. And I'm gonna just put the Oreos right into there. Okay. okay, so it looks like what the fuck are you doing right now? You don't have to oil this or anything? You're right. I knew it! Okay, so just put the... <laughs> Oreos right into the bottom. I'm taking this muddler, but use whatever you have that's flat. And just start breaking up the Oreo cookies, and that's combining with the cream and the cookies, and you're getting like a nice crust. Okay, so look at that. A nice crust that's ready to go. This is ready. Maya, thank you what? so much for doing all the hard work. For it? Yep. Right, we sprayed the side. Yeah, dude. It is raw egg, but no big deal. Okay. Pour it in. You might not need all of it, but. All of it. 
Definitely all of it. Oh. All of it. All right, now that's going in the oven. This is gonna take a little longer, uh, maybe 20 minutes, mm -hmm. but we have cookies while we yeah. eat. While we're waiting, we can just eat cookies with cream cheese. How do you guys feel like not fat? Yeah. <laughs> you just eat whatever you want, not too fat. Do this work out? All the, you yeah, to you have to. Every day. Every day. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> Wait, I forgot. He surgically ripped them apart. Oh, actually, Pat's gonna do that. This is the. Uh, what did you just do? He put in. Um, oh, yeah. oh, wow. Cream cheese inside. We work out, we definitely take care of ourselves, and there's a balance. You know, we don't eat this. We just sell cheesecake every spit day. Out the food right after. <laughs> we definitely like to eat our food, which is. A lot of times on food shoots, like the crew is always confused that we're like just eating all day. Because a lot of people do spit out their own food. Oh, like right. Like Food Network people. So you're saying that you guys are legit, you don't spit your food out. We don't spit. <laughs> so <laughs> Too legit to spit. <laughs> Too legit. <laughs> Take your own. This no. is too hot. Okay, this is good. This is definitely too hot. Whoa. Uh, oh. That's a crispy explosion. So the bread bowl. I would get in there, yeah. Look at that. It's just like... Can I, I almost want to rip the You can rip potato. anything. Yeah, you can rip. I can't eat this, it's I'm too hot. Potato. Oh, you gotta wait. Mmm. <laughs> For sure. Because you gotta get the scoop out. It's yeah. nice to have a little bit in there, because you get the scoop. Yeah. Scoop potato is nice, because it's so soft and creamy. Yeah, I like that. Mm. The moment we've been waiting for. So I just took a knife and uh, slid around the side. Wait a minute. You put that in the fridge. <laughs> put that yeah, in the fridge. We didn't have the time to wait. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, if you if you took it right out of the oven and tried to, I mean, you could eat it just hot right out of there, right out of this little ramekin. Oh right, like just and that would be great. But I want to see if I can remove it. So you know what I like? If it came right out of there, then the crust would probably crumble. It needs time to set. Oh okay, God. is it gonna work? Uh, oh. Okay, we lost Semi. a tiny bit of crust, oh. but I'm all right with it. This is a Nutella. My Greenfield cheesecake, basically. But there's no, oh, there's cheese there. Nutella Oreo cheesecake. But it's cake. not, yeah, it's kind of its own little cake. It's like kind thing. of like a foamy thing. Oh my. Oh, oh wait. It's not ready. Oh, it's like a lava okay. cake. It's a, lo it's a lava cake. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always say food is. 60% technique, 90% bullshit. Okay. Okay. As you can see, <laughs> before we open this up, I think the oven was on a little too high. So what oh, happened was outside the outside is. cooked very quickly in the inside, but so there's still parts. Sometimes even testing will fuck you. Yeah. Can you eat that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. It's not bad. That's actually might be better. You could have left yeah. it in the, were you calling it? Oh American? my god, that might oh. be better. Okay. See, that's it. completely cooked. That's cooked. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mmm. Oh my god, I love cheesecake and I love chocolate. Do you guys want it? I want the, mm. I want the lava inch. Like that is, look at that. That texture wow. is pretty insane. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like there's only four ingredients. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> mm. Maya, thank you so much for coming on. This has been amazing. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed. And this is stuff. Shameless Maya. Check out our channel. You can oh, click yeah. this link. It's, yeah, you forgot we were doing collaborating. We're just having so much fun. We did a video yes, collab I'm, with her I'm as well. Time. You've seen Probably some of those here. recipes. All right, yeah. Um, but still, it's, it's, you know, we're doing You haven't seen them like this. You right. haven't seen them, yeah, version 2.0. Oh, so my channel is just about um, putting yourself out there and being shameless and doing that without shame and embracing who you are, what you do, and putting it out there. Do you, be you, stay true. You hear that, guys? Be shameless. Be shameless, stay true. <laughs> See you next time. Eat cheesecake with the pillow. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's good.